Hi, and welcome to my channel, Learning Biology with Dr. Vanessa. I'm Dr. Vanessa, and I'm on a mission to make difficult concepts easy to understand within the realm of anatomy and physiology and biology. If that resonates with you, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell so that you never miss out on a new video. In today's video, we're gonna take a look at the anatomy of the ear. We're going to be using this awesome 3D model to be able to show you the different parts of the ear. I think that being able to see these big life-size models really helps to visualize the different parts in a way that is very different than being able to see it on a piece of paper. So we're gonna dive in and take a look at the anatomy of the ear. Now the ear is separated into three main parts, the outer ear, the middle ear, and the inner ear. So let's go through each different part of the ear and what we find there. So the outer ear consists of the part of the ear that you can actually see, okay, the outer part of the ear. And that portion is referred to as the auricle or the pinna. This portion here is referred to as the helix, and this portion here is referred to as the lobe. Now, if we go in through the ear, this portion right here is called the ear canal. It's also got a few other names, um, the external acoustic meatus, or sometimes it's referred to as the external auditory canal. So a lot of different names, but this is the ear canal for to make it easy, okay? Still part of the outer ear. This is still considered part of the outer ear. And then we go to the tympanic membrane right here or easier to remember the eardrum. So this is the tympanic membrane, also known as the eardrum. So that all consists, all is part of the outer ear. So the auricle or pinna, the ear canal, tympanic membrane, all consist of um, the outer ear. Now the ear itself is made of, of elastic cartilage. It is um, mobile, surrounded by skin. And then you can kind of see some inner anatomy here where you have um, some fat tissue, some more elastic cartilage, and then you also have bone um, in through this inner portion. So external ear or outer ear. So outer ear, and then we move to the middle ear. The middle ear is behind the tympanic membrane, okay, behind the eardrum. And there are three little bones that make up the middle ear. And so in the middle ear, we have um, the malleus, the incus, and the stapes. Now these are the smallest bones in the body. They are actually tiny little bones that connect to the eardrum. They also then connect to the inner ear, and that's going to allow us to hear sound. Now we're just going through the anatomy in this video in um, my next video i'm going to talk about how we hear because in order to really understand how we hear we first need to know how the ear is made up so that's the middle ear the middle ear also has this portion right here this is called the astuchian tube and helps to drain any fluid from this area normally this area does not have any fluid in here when fluid starts to build up this can create an ear infection pressure pain okay so when that fluid starts to build up it creates pressure in this area it starts to hurt if the fluid stays there long enough bacteria can grow and create an infection so that's the middle ear which would connect to um, the inner ear so here's the inner ear right here in this it's in this area right here if you look at the inner ear what you'll notice is that there's this portion right here between these two very distinct areas of the inner ear. And that is where the um, bones of the eardrum, the bones right behind the eardrum or the bones of the middle ear are going to connect to the inner ear. That portion right there is called the vestibule. And then there's two other portions of the inner ear. We have the semicircular canals, which function in equilibrium and balance. And then we have the cochlea, this snail-like structure back here that is going to function in hearing. So we'll delve more into that in my next video and talk about how we hear. Uh, when this takes the signals that it gets from the bones, those vibrations, it's going to converge back here onto this nerve called the vestibulocochlear nerve, 
which is going to take those signals to the brain in order to interpret what we're hearing. So those are all the different parts of the ear. Hopefully taking a look at this with a model really helps you to understand these different parts of the ear. Um, let me know what you think about these videos that I'm using these models in. Is it helping you to really understand that anatomy? Um, put it down below, let me know. Uh, stay tuned because I am going to make a video on how we hear and we'll go more into the science of how that happens, looking really into um, the inner part of the ear. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, put those in the comment box below. And thank you so much for watching my video.